the third and final reason why I like renewable energy, why I believe it's such an important issue for our generation, is the number of jobs it's going to create. And what better time right now to be pursuing these kind of economic opportunities that are going to give people like me and my generation a job and going to make sure that our energy, we have a secure energy supply for the future. So the unique thing about renewable energy, people say that, well, fossil fuels create jobs too, and that's true. But the difference is this. I'm going to draw a map of the United States and show you how renewable energy actually has a greater job creating potential than oil and natural gas. We have Texas, Florida. So if you look at the United States, you'll notice that each area in the United States has very unique, what are called endemic resources. So if you want to talk about wind power, we got wind in a lot of different places in the United States, most notably right here in the Atlantic states, from Maine all the way down to Virginia and North Carolina, we have great wind resources. So if we were to develop this resource, we'd have a huge opportunity to develop a lot of energy really close to a lot of big cities that are located along the, the eastern seaboard of the United States. We also have good wind in the Great Lakes, with some of the best winds in the Great Lakes. Um, we have wind all up and down this corridor. This is called the T. Boone Pickens Corridor. We have good wind resource all the way up from Texas, up here to North Dakota. And if we go to the West Coast, we have great tidal energy. Great tidal energy right here in the Puget Sound area in Washington State. We have some interest in wind in California. We also have great tidal energy here in Maine. And then if we go, we want to talk about biomass. We got biomass resources pretty well dispersed throughout the country. The southeastern United States right now, Georgia, Atlanta, those areas, they actually have a lot of great biomass resource. We also have a lot of great biomass resource in Maine and in the northeast. We have great biomass resources in the Midwest. So those are some of those resources. We want to talk about geothermal. They're really excited in geothermal right now out in the western coast states, Idaho, uh, Montana, these states. Geothermal is energy that pumps heat from the earth and brings it up to the, to the um, temperature of the, of the house or whatever we're using to generate electricity or to just heat and cool your, your house or your water cooler. Um, if we want to talk about solar, we have solar, great solar resources in California down the southwestern United States, in Texas. There's a little bit of activity in New Jersey right now. There's a lot of state incentives for solar energy. So you're beginning to get the idea. Regardless of where you go in the United States, there's great resources really close to home. Um, and these are localized areas. If we were just using coal and oil and natural gas, those are traditionally concentrated in, in places like North Dakota, throughout this part of the United States. Um, West Virginia, they're mining a lot of coal. Um, so yeah, they're, they're great and they create a lot of jobs and they'll power electricity and they're cheap. But if we really want to think long term and we really want to create the jobs that we're going to need throughout the rest of the country, let's take a broader look and look at renewables because we have unique resources in each area. And the truth is there's probably not going to be one single renewable that's, going to, that's really going to be the end all be all for our energy source. We really want to look at a variety a portfolio of energy resources. So the job creating effect is another great reason why I like renewable energy. And so, so the, how are we going to achieve this? How are we going to get renewable energy throughout the United States? Well, we need, first of all, we need smart policy. So one example of an idea that I've thought of is right now natural gas is very cheap. That's true. Gas is about two dollars per, mil, per million British thermal units. So that's dirt cheap. That's great. But guess what's cheaper than two dollars natural gas? Free renewable energy. So if we can figure out a way to bring down the capital cost so that we can reduce the cost of energy from renewable sources, we can compete with natural gas. So let's use this $2 natural gas as an opportunity to provide the price support for renewable energy rather than waiting for the price to spike back up when we're actually paying a lot more for energy. And that way we're going to be less apt to want to use renewables. So what we need is we need people like you to get involved. We need young people to get involved. We need you to be interested in renewable energy. We need you to read about it, learn about it. Talk to your teachers about it, talk to your policymakers about it, talk to your family about it, and most of all, we need people to understand the technology, to be able to understand the business concepts and the business plans that go into these sources, and create the businesses that will be able to take advantage of these resources no matter where you are in the United States. 
so that we can achieve a safe, sustainable, and prosperous future for the United States.